Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a pleasure to gather together with you again today. Of course, I would always prefer that we're together face to face, but uh, under these, as I said, unorthodox conditions, that's not going to be the case for we don't know how long. So I'm glad to be able to do it with you this way through this virtual reality, I guess we could call it. I uh, hope you will get your constant contact and be able to check out the scripture lessons uh, before you actually view this video because it helps to better understand the uh, reflection that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Just a reminder, uh, as I had mentioned before, the uh, we'll have myself, Pastor Don and myself, will be getting together to get a video for uh, Easter Sunday, so I hope you'll be able to uh, view that as well. And uh, for those of you who've gotten the uh, Monday, Thursday stripping of the altar, I hope you can utilize that. It is different, that's for sure, but that's what we're in right now. We're in a different situation. So anyway, let's uh, begin with the reflection in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel of John lays out uh, much of the three days in a kind of a logical fashion for us. In chapter 12, which is a little bit before uh, the Gospel we have for today, Mary, the sister of Lazarus, anoints Jesus' feet with Jesus saying, Leave her alone. She bought it, the perfume that she used, the uh, nard it's called, uh, that she may keep it for the day of my burial. Next, Jesus triumphantly enters Jerusalem. And then with chapter 13, which is our gospel for today, we have Jesus washing his disciples' feet and giving them a new commandment, which we know as the commandment to love one another. When we remember the Passover and the Last Supper and the foot washing, we are trying to go back to another time. Faced with all the suffering and death in this COVID-19 situation that the world is filled with today, such attempts wouldn't really help much. Because we really don't need to because God's word is always with us. God's word always comes to us in the here and the now, in our time and in our place. Even though we cannot meet for the Holy Supper together, this word of God, which takes these three nights for us to say, comes to us. Jesus Christ is our forgiveness, he's our life, and he's our salvation. He is the Lamb of God, whose blood marks the door of our homes and our bodies. By the power of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, he has washed our feet, and he's washed our souls and our lives. And he turns us towards our neighbors to do similar. In this word, capital W, word, and in the cross proclaimed tomorrow, and in the resurrection proclaimed on Saturday evening, and especially on Sunday morning, Easter comes to hold us eternally. Amen. Let us pray. United with Christians around the globe on this Monday Thursday, let us pray for the church, our troubled world, and all those in need. Blessed are you, holy God, for the church. Gather all the baptized around your presence in the word. Strengthen the body of your people even when we cannot assemble for worship. Grant bishops, pastors, deacons, musicians, and all worship leaders faithfully and creatively 
for their ministry in this time and accompany those preparing for baptism. Hear us, holy God, your mercy is great. Blessed are you, bountiful God, for this good earth and for the flowering of springtime. Save dry lands from destructive droughts. Protect the waters from pollution. Allow in this time the planting of fields for food. Make us into caregivers of your plants and animals. Hear us, bountiful God, your mercy is great. Blessed are you, sovereign God, for our nation. Inspire all people to live in peace and concord. Grant wisdom and courage to heads of state and to legislators as they face this coronavirus. Lead our elected officials to champion the cause of the needy. Hear us, sovereign God. Your mercy is great. Blessed are you, faithful God, for, your, for you accompany suffering humanity with love. Abide wherever the coronavirus has struck. Visit all who mourn their dead, all who, are contract, who have contracted the virus, those who are quarantined or stranded away from home, those who have lost their employment, those who fear the presence and the future. Support physicians, nurses, home health aides, medical researchers, and the World Health Organization. Hear us, faithful God. Your mercy is great. Blessed are you, gracious God, for you care for the needy. We beg you to feed the hungry, to protect the refugee, to em embrace the distressed, to house the homeless, to nurse the sick, and to comfort the dying, especially those we name now. <clears throat> Hear us, gracious God. Your mercy is great. Blessed are you, loving God, that your Son knelt before us, your unworthy servants. Preserve our lives, comfort our anxiety, and receive now the petitions of our hearts. Hear us, loving God. Your mercy is great. Receive, merciful God, our prayers for the sake of Jesus Christ, the host of our meal of life, who died and rose that we might live with you now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Finally, remembering Jesus going to his arrest and his death, the events from which all the mercy that fills this night flows, let us pray this psalm. O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer enter into your presence. Incline your ear to my lamentation, for I am full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit I have become like one who has no strength, lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the pit, in dark places and in the abyss. Your anger weighs upon me heavily, and all my great waves overwhelm me. You have put my friends far from me. You have made me to be an abhorrent by them. I am in prison and cannot get free. My, set, my sight failed me because of trouble. 
Lord, I have called upon you daily. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will those who have died stand up and give you thanks? Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the dark, or your righteousness in the country where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth, I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors and am helpless. Your brazen anger has swept over me. Your terror has destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood. They encompass me on every side. My friend and my neighbor, you are put away from me and darkness is my only companion.